Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you're all okay. If you are expecting a child, congratulations. How exciting. I wish you a happy and healthy pregnancy and birth and postpartum part as well. If not, come on over to my YouTube channels and I hope that we can ride this wave together. So, where do I begin? Okay, you may be watching this because you are also about to pack your hospital bag. Also, this might be your first time. This is my second time and you'd think I would know what to pack. If I'm honest with you, I have no idea. I have way too much, it's like I'm going abroad for nine years. Where do I start? Oh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack my hospital bag together. So if you're ready to pop your, get your hospital packed, bag packed as well, get your bag ready, get your bags ready, get everything ready and let's do this together. Okay, so I am 30 on Saturday, like the slumps. <laughs> I am 30 six weeks and three days. This is my second child. Um, this is a little girl. A baby girl. Um, I've got a toddler boy already. I think that's why I'm a little bit scatty this time. I'm just like, yeah, as long as I've got chocolate. <laughs> as long as I've got chocolate and big knickers, I'm ready to go. First of all, let's have a drink. It's not, it's just got cold water in it. I wish that this was like a hot chocolate or a tea or coffee, but it's not. It's just ass cold water. Okay, I say I don't know where to begin. This is my second time. So I have a rough idea. I just feel like I've got loads of stuff and the suitcase isn't big enough. I know I don't need this much, but I want to overpack, but I could be home within five, six hours of the birth, but I could be home within two, three days. If you don't live far from the hospital, don't go overboard. Obviously, if partners and friends and families can bring stuff up to you, do that. But as a parent, as a mum, I do think we like to just pack everything and if we don't need it, we don't need to use it. So don't feel guilty for overpacking or like, oh, I've packed too much. Don't worry about it. You pack all you need. Pack everything. Pack every pillow, pack every headband and just be prepared as you feel like you need to be. Okay, so first things first, car seat. So I've just got the uh, Maxi Cozy car seat with the Isofix base underneath. Um, I'm not putting that in the car yet. I'm just gonna wait until um, we're ready to go up to the hospital. And then I, it doesn't take long to install it. Um, literally quickly, it, if not, you can just pop it in the car seat quickly up to the hospital and then your partner or whoever can install it whilst the car is there if that's what you're coming home in if not just take the car seat without the iso fix base up with you with the hospital they like you to um for the baby to leave in a secure hospital um, a secure car seat so i've gone for the maxi cozy easy fix it goes on to my bugaboo which i have got but it's at my mum's house um, I'm just a bit superstitious and I have left it there until she's born. So I hope my mum's looking after it and taking good care of it, which I had to order these, but I got these off of Vinted because when I had this, I was like, oh my God, I had a different pram. So I had to get these off of Vinted. Oh, they are just these that go onto the pram. But again, you don't need these for the hospital, but just giving you a little bit of an idea. So first things first, car seat. Right, should we do my bag first or the baby's bag first? What do you think? I don't know. Right, I've got I've got things everywhere. So let's start with let's start with my bag. It looks like I have got so much, but in all honesty, I think it just looks worse because it's in boxes and no, I don't think it's gonna fit in the suitcase. No, I don't think it's gonna fit. Okay, so first of all, even if you're watching this as a friend or for yourself or a dad or anything like that and you are really struggling of what to buy for like your friend or your partner or your sister or your cousin, something a bit different on Instagram, head over to their page. They have set me up for this hospital more than I ever thought I needed. I will show you a video here now. Me and Kojo, my toddler, if you're new here, he is nearly three. Um, we went through the bag and there was so much stuff. I. I'm so appreciative and thank you so much to that company for setting me up 
with this beautiful bag full of amazing things that literally is probably all you need to take in the hospital. I am so grateful and the most amazing gift you could probably give anyone. So this is literally something that you, I would highly recommend. Okay, this great old pillow. Look at this bad boy. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. So with this pillow, it's called a, oh, I don't know what it's called. It's called a breastfeeding pillow maybe. So when I had a C-section last time, I did have a bit of pain all on my tummy. And I'm gonna try and go for a V-back this time, which is a vaginal birth after C-section. If anybody's have what had one, please, please, please send some information my way, whether it's going to find me on Instagram or commenting below. I would literally appreciate any, 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 any responses on this within the next few weeks. So with this pillow it's great for breastfeeding you just put the baby here and obviously it's even nice just to lean on to be fair even if you don't want to breastfeed if you want to bottle feed it's just so nice and comfortable and you can take this up to the hospital with you um again i know it looks massive but it is definitely needed so pop that one into the car seat if you're taking that up um they will and also it's so nice when you've just had the baby just to set up because you know what those hospital beds are like so it's so nice just to be like comfortable um, in all different positions. Okay, let's get the glamorous part out of the way of discreet fit pants. So I got these from Wilkinson's. They were... Right, I'm really sorry if you can hear somebody drilling the absolute hell out in the garden. We have got builders around at the moment in our next door and they are literally changing the garden up completely. Oh, they stopped, right. So discreet knickers these ones are amazing if you um, have a natural or c-section um, obviously you'll need the comfort and support and obviously the whole like bleeding situation and stuff like that afterwards it's completely natural and these are just so easy to put on rather than sometimes like knickers and then a pad and then another pad and then having to change it it's just the most glamorous thing ever in pregnancy but so comfortable that you will definitely need these so these are called discreet fit pants. They're basically like tenor ladies, but the cheaper version. So six pounds these were from Wilkinson's and they are 10 and I got a size, and I got, I don't know if it's size large or just the, um, like how heavy you will be or not. But anyway, I got them ones. Then I went in with the, also from Wilkinson's, the mum to be breast pads. So even if you don't want to breastfeed, you still probably will be leaking because of all the hormones. These were two pounds for 40, which is really good. So soft and absorbent. On to large disposable maternity briefs. So these were two pounds for five, where actually you might as well have just gone and got, well, I don't know. So I think these ones are more thicker and these ones are more thinner maybe. Anyway, I wanted to take two lots in because I wasn't sure which ones will be which. Um, I think they are literally exactly the same situation. They are just like big nappies that you wear. Um, so you'll be a little bit like your baby for a few weeks and you'll be wearing exactly the same. So large disposable maternity briefs, two pounds from Tesco's. Picked these up today. Um, really hard to try and find decent nursing bras. Um, but they were, I think they were nine, yeah, they were nine pounds for the two of them. I got them in an extra large because when you, if this is your first time, when you um, even get the milk coming in, even if you don't want to breastfeed, your boobs do go really big. Um, obviously all that hormone, the milk and everything like that. So I would definitely up a size or even two sizes just to be comfortable. So yeah, these are called seam-free nursing bras in the parenthood range. So even though you've got the really big underwear, which would be amazing, um, if you didn't want to wear that kind of underwear, you can wear. Pick these up from uh, Primark. Again, these were seven pounds for a pack of three. I thought they were really nice. I thought I quite like these, they look really comfortable. I got them in a size large, which were 14 to 16. Um, so a pack of three. So basically, if you don't want to wear those kind of like disposable knickers and you want it to stay in like a knicker kind of brief thing, obviously just use your maternity towels. These are from, I can't think where these are from. I did pick them up, um, Superdrug, and these are about 90p. A water bottle, 
a water bottle is key like one of the most needed things even if you're not a massive water fan juice anything that you will need to go through like contractions labor afterwards when you're at hospital you're always a bit like need a drink so yeah a water bottle is a massive one this is really random but just a black bag i don't know why it's like this a black bag for your washing so obviously when you're up there for a few days you know you'll have if you're up there for a few days you might have some dirty washing for you and the baby so just take a black bag and basically just shove it in somewhere put your dirty washing in it so when you come home you can just bung all of that in the washing machine okay if you don't know about these go to boots they're for free the labor information pack you get pseudo cream you get loads of little like mini samples which are great for you for when you come home so like pseudo cream um, i think had vitamin d drops um, I had a pack of nappies, um, wherever they are, probably packed in the baby part. Pack of nappies to add into there. I'm using this bag as, because it's quite good, it's like waterproof. I'm using this bag to take with me up to the hospital for my thing. I don't have to pack any of this, it's just what I've packed. So a hand cream, lip balm, you need a lip balm, cheap, whatever, lip balm. Oh God, your lips get so dry just from like, if you're going to have gas and air, medication, just being at the hospital, lip balm. Some lavender oil. You don't have to use this, but I have been doing hypnobirthing. So I'm really anxious as a person. You wouldn't probably see it, but in different situations, I do struggle really bad with anxiety. Um, and I think a lot of us do nowadays and it's really good to talk about it and find ways to be able to balance and basically just like find ways that relaxes how we can. So I've also got this one from Home Bargains. It's a lavender overnight mist. I just thought if I'm going into labour, um, spray that around and lavender is a really good essential oil to relax all the nerves and calm down. Maybe I should spray it on me now. But yeah, lavender oil is another amazing thing to take with you. Bit of deodorant. I'd probably say a roll-on deodorant, but the only thing that actually works for me is Dove. Everything else makes me sweat. So pack a deodorant, a mini one. It looks really big, but this is a mini one. It's up to you. Um, if you've got the time um, and you're up there for a few days, take a mini shampoo and conditioner. Um, obviously you'll want a shower and probably want to wash your hair so take a mini shampoo and conditioner and if you're going to be like me and probably can't think of nothing worse than washing your hair at the hospital just take a little mini bottle of dry shampoo oh my god <laughs> i should have shook it up first oh my god nearly choked me in the baby instant cooling mist absolutely incredible amazing i think this was about a pound something from home bargains an instant cooling mist so what that is is a face and body obviously when you're in the hospital everything's hot and sweaty and clammy and you're like oh just need some just throw me in the shower but obviously that's not you just can't do that so a spray mist is literally so natural you can just spray it when you're in labor when you're in the hospital if your legs feel a bit sweaty and hot and swollen just spray away girls obviously a little man mini shower gel for you to use in the shower a flannel nipple cream so your boobies get really sore when you're breastfeeding mine are actually huge at the moment I'm like, I'm going to start trying to get the colostrum out of them by using like little syringes that the midwife has given me because I do think I've got a bit of milk in there that I'll be able to store to feed baby when she's here. But your boobies do get really sore. Maybe don't use this. Take it with you, but you might not need to use it for the first day or two. Um, but anything after that, um, breastfeeding, you almost hit the bottom before you can come back up again. So um, you have got this, but just be prepared. This is one of the best... Uh, breastfeeding uh, creams out there I used quite a few with my first son nothing worked apart from this so it's called lanolin nipple cream best invent best investment I have ever spent for my skin when I first had my son my skin went horrendous before and after and 
I'm not one to say like, oh yeah, my skin looks really nice. But my skin has actually stayed so balanced throughout this whole pregnancy from using, oh, hiccups, heartburn, oh, I need a kiwi. If you're suffering from heartburn, kiwis are amazing. Go and get a kiwi. Oh my gosh, I need to go and get one. They are helping me so much. It's because I've had cake. I shouldn't have had cake. Oh, the cake just does it for me. Anyway, back to cleanser. So I will use this up. The hospital, absolutely love it. It has saved me. It's like I've been on a two minute spa. Um, it's amazing. So yeah, take your cleanser with you. Um, again, I've got like a little one there um, and take your moisturizer. I use the La Rouge Pose um, moisturizer. Uh, absolutely amazing for sensitive skin. Oh, so good. It's a bit like the instant cooling, but it's um, this one is the rose one. It's just something nice to freshen up the face. Um, yeah, really love that. So that's just a little fix prep and prime. Pack of wet wipes for you. So if you just want a quick freshen up, if like family or relatives are coming up, or even if you just feel like you're a bit sticky and clammy and um, someone's in the bathroom, um, get yourself just a pack of wet wipes for you or even just for your face, just to give them a good old cleanse this up from Primark it's just a headband it's just so easy just to like obviously like I've got today just to scrape your hair out the way and then a little clip pack as many snacks cold drinks fizzies water bottles of waters fruit crisps anything like that that you think will get you through it if you're at the hospital and your partner so obviously your partner could be sat there for hours and hours and hours whilst you're contracting and obviously could be starving. So I'm packing myself my favorite chocolate of all, Dairy Milk Winter Crisp, and my favorite cereal. These were mini ones up home bargains, 25p. I absolutely love them, and I just feel like if I'm there for the morning, whoop, I fancy me wait a bit. So some slippers are great just to slide on and off whilst you're walking like around the ward or into the shower room, uh, et cetera, things like that some thick comfy socks for you then i've gone for some pajamas calvin bought me these these blessing for christmas so they're just silk i love silk Ooh, look at these bad boys so silky pajamas um that will just that are easy to open so obviously button down in case you want to feed and even if you don't want to feed skin to skin obviously is amazing so um some pajamas these were from primark everything's from Primark so they've got a button up and button down and what I would do is also oh, I don't know where it is oh I thought I had it in here with me um a dressing gown or not oh my dressing gown's in there so a dressing gown or just a night robe just to put over you if you didn't want to wear nothing you just wanted to wear your bra and knickers in the day and in the night but you wanted to cover up just get yourself um like a robe sort of thing that you can just tie up and just be comfortable throughout the day and an open cardigan you don't have to but sometimes I just thought I've got a pet so I'm gonna pack a pair of leggings and um, they are in the wash at the moment because I've been wearing them so I will wear some maternity leggings and I'll just wear like a cardigan and my bra another outfit that I will take up with me outfit wise I'm not gonna take loads up as long as I've just got the odd thing and then coming home outfit so I've got this outfit here. here's like a little picture here um, from Boohoo, I think it was like £22, so comfortable. Obviously when you give birth, you're gonna need something really comfortable over your tummy. So I just picked this two piece setup that I'm gonna take with me to the hospital. Um, and obviously again, this is an open cardigan. So really easy to get on and off. So it depends how you want to announce your child. So take one of these boards, um, I don't know if that's, this is you or the baby, take one of these boards up, or I've got these little Hello World, I think they're in here, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yes, that is, I think that's my hospital bag packed. I think that is everything that me personally, I need. Um, yeah, I think it is. Well, that's all I'm packing anyway. So if you can recommend anything for myself, then please comment below. But now we're going to go on to the baby items and what I've packed for baby girl. So now baby girl's items. So first of all, a changing bag. So I was kindly given this lovely changing bag from Baby Mel. It's absolutely amazing. It's got all the different sections, um, obviously pockets here. This also clips to the pram. So it's got little Velcro straps here. Um, it also comes with a changing mat and then a little bottle flask. So that actually comes with the bag. 
and it comes with lots of little pockets and compartments. So if you haven't got yourself a changing bag yet, check Instagram Baby Mail. They're absolutely amazing. They've got loads of different colours. I actually had this in brown for my first son, so now I've just gone for black this time. Okay, so let's pack her bag. So I feel like with the baby, they don't need loads. As long as they're fed, as long as they've got a few clothes. I know people go overboard and pack outfit after outfit after outfit after hat after, you know, like so much of it. I promise you, you don't need all of that. Okay, first of all, when you have a baby, um, you can use wet wipes. Obviously, it's completely preferable. preferable blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know the word I'm on about to what you would like to do. But personally, I'm just going to start with cotton wool and cotton pads. So these are from Tesco's. So first of all, this is what I'm going to wipe her with, with some warm water for probably a few weeks. Now, if things do get really messy up there, I would obviously just take a pack of wet wipes, just if things get a little bit messy. Wet wipe area of the bag. Okay, so you can either take one pack of nappies or two pack of nappies. It depends how long you're up there for. They do provide you with nappies if you're desperate and you've run out um, and your partner's going to get some or your mother-in-law or whoever. Um, but I am just going to take one pack of 24. And obviously, if I need more, I will just come back and get some more. They normally use about 10 nappies a day. So that covers you for two days. Really not needed, but I am going to take it up with me. A little toy a little swan toy my son had a lion so she's got a little swan this is from H&M some baby muslins I do need to wash these um, but I have got a few already washed but I just wanted to show you sort of how they come as a pack of three so now for like the outfits some people can obviously go overboard and pack loads which is absolutely fine I'm just gonna stay standard um, sleep suits hats outfits that kind of thing so I've just packed one cardigan, two little cardigans, some little booties, two little hats. Again, if you haven't got any knitted hats like this, don't worry about it. The hospital will provide one as soon as the baby's born that fits their head. I've got this little bag for all her clothes. So let's start putting it in. So I would highly recommend getting sleep suits with zips. So I got these from H&M, I think they were. Um, they're already washed and ready to go. So zips are absolutely amazing and a complete and utter game changer so i've got one then number two then i've got some buttoned up ones so one two five so five sleep suits two zip ones so i've got seven long sleeve also i'd recommend the ones that have got the little hand mitts because when they're little they try and like yeah. i've got one newborn vest so the vests are like this so one two seven vests then i've got her coming home outfit it's nothing too much i haven't actually washed this one yet but i need to um but i just wanted to show you guys it's literally a little two piece from matalan it's eight pounds um it's just got the little feet under it so that's her little coming home outfit gone a little head bow crazy um, i've just got this little bag it just says baby's keepsake my friend got this for me for my baby shower um again hello world I'm here. Pack two dummies that I've already sterilised. I don't know how many blankets to take. That's one thing I'm not too sure on. They really don't need that many, but oh, I just don't know what one to choose. Got another swaddle blanket. Again, this one needs a wash because it's only just arrived, but I will do that. And I feel like I want to get like a little headband that matches. Don't do it, Laura, stop. It's like her hospital bag all packed. Last but not least, I don't know what bottles you guys are going to use. Um, I used Tommy Tippy last time with my son. He had really bad reflux and colic, so they weren't great. <laughs> I tried the colic ones, hand on heart, man bottles all the way. I then swapped to them when he was a little bit later, and I wish I'd started these at the start. So man bottles, um, I need to sterilise these, get these all ready. But if you're wanting to bottle feed, from day one at the hospital, take yourself some bottles up. They'll be able to help you clean them and wash them and stuff like that. And you can also get these. So I'm, I haven't take, I can take some up, but I haven't got any of them yet. So you can go into like Tesco, Sainsbury's, basically a supermarket and get mini pre-made milk that you can just pour right into here, or you can take your own formula up. 
so literally whatever you depend like whatever is easier but i do think these are absolutely incredible to take up with you for a few days remember they drink literally like an ounce every couple of hours or a couple ounces every couple of hours so they really won't need a lot you might think oh my god that doesn't look a lot they don't need a lot their tummies are so tiny that it would that was that's almost more than enough you'll probably come home with some so take them up with you and obviously your bottles and dummies of like which ones you're going to choose but i would definitely recommend these La! Ooh, ooh. i think i've packed for the hospital baby girl i've packed oh my god so i hope that's really helped you today if you're wanting to watch more videos of my journey please subscribe and hopefully some more videos to come up of after the baby um yeah i'm really hoping to do more on this channel um and obviously really appreciate it um, with you guys watching, subscribing, liking. I hope you really enjoy these videos. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other ones, please go head along and have a look at my other videos and I hope you enjoy watching them. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to go and pick up my little toddler from the Childminders and just get ready before dinner and bedtime begins with him. So yeah, I hope you're all okay and you've all had a lovely week and you enjoyed that. I will link as much as I can below. I will try and link everybody's like like the accounts and where I've got things from of what I remember all below and I will put like a hospital note or hospital list all below so that you can just screenshot it and hopefully use it for yourself but anyway best of luck if you are not far away um from giving birth and stuff like that best of luck to you I hope that we can come back and we can um yeah connect on like you know what we've had as like girl or boy the weight and everything like that names so yeah, oh, names. Don't get me started on that either. Anyway, an amazing, amazing week and I hope you're all keeping well and you're all okay. Take care. Bye.